guys and welcome to my April TBR. I am in the end of March and I read a bunch of books that were not on my March TBR so guess what there is a ton of March TBR on my April TBR and I'm still excited about these books. I'm, I just I can't pile them all on so I'm not gonna put them all on there but because the, I've checked out so many other books and so yeah <laughs> let's get started for my April TBR. I think I have like a week left of March so we'll see how many I get through but none of these ones I know I'm gonna get to like I just know I'm not going to get to them. Um, so this one is Miraculum by Stephanie Pulst and I don't even remember putting this on my list but it showed up in my thing. So Miraculum is the name of the circus and the circus is set on like the Texas Louisiana border. It's about a girl named Ruby and a boy named Daniel and Ruby has been like a snake charmer I think and her father circus. I'm not sure it doesn't explain I don't know if her father circus was a circus or not. Anyway, she meets a boy named Daniel who like charms the pants off of everybody. Okay, and then a tragedy happens and there's like something dark kind of twisted and she doesn't know who holds the playing cards because she's very used to holding the upper hand. And so things kind of get a little bit twisted, but it sounds good. I love carnival books, like every carnival book I think I've read. I really liked it, whether if it was like Carnival or um, what was that other one? Um, the one set in Russia, the Crowns Game or uh waterfall elephants i don't know there's something about carnivals that are like mysticism i just absolutely love them so i'm glad i put this on my list even though i don't remember like specifically asking the library checks out but when it showed up i was like hey hey ho i'm glad i remembered um the next one is daisy jones and the six i have not gotten around to reading this and i is due back at the library in april so i'm definitely gonna read this i'm so excited for it um, in J.C. Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She got really popular because of Evelyn Hugo, so that's the reason I checked this out because I ended up reading her other books before I read Evelyn Hugo. And I'm just excited about this, but this is about Daisy Jones. She's, it says in the description that she's like, living the nightlife in LA, trying to become a singer, trying to become a star. And then her producer pairs her up with the Six, who is also on the upward and and then I think there's some romantics, even though he was in a serious relationship or someone was, but um, we'll see where it goes. And I hope I like this one. I heard this one is a completely different format as well, because she wrote a bunch of romantic novels and then she wrote the Evelyn Hugo, Evelyn Hugo novel, which was a completely different like writing style and writing story um, from the other ones. So I'm really excited about this one though. I hear this one's completely different as well, which is really good. And she's a really, really good author absolutely love her which reminds me I also checked out after I do I think this is the only one I haven't read I read for I read like three other ones of hers that were just like the basic romantic ones with her so this one is about a couple who is like at the end of the road and their only choice well not their only choice but they just make a decision in life to like take a year apart and not contact each other and a Lauren and Ryan and so I think you go on a bit of adventure of Lauren's story and Ryan's story and where that takes them, where the new road takes them. Like probably deciding what they're willing to fight for and everything in the end, which I'm excited about because I absolutely love her romance reads. Sometimes they make me angry, but I absolutely love her as a writer. And so Truly Devious is by Maureen Johnson. And I read another book by Maureen Johnson and it was a contemporary novel about three sisters and I absolutely adored it and loved it. So I want to read more. I sometimes pick up uh, some of her other books because I know she's a phenomenal writer. But this one I think is a completely different story from her. Um, because it's a little bit mystery and like intense I believe and it got super good reviews and the vanishing star I think came out more recently and I checked it out as well so I hopefully I will find a few of these in April this one is about a man named Albert who set up an academy and when he set it up his wife and daughter go missing and truly devious I think is the name of the riddle Oh, that is behind the deaths of these two people and then a girl comes along named Stacy who is like um, and it's her first year at Allington Academy she has a very ambitious plan to solve the cold case so it's going back in the depths of what actually happened and everything but it sounds creepy and scary and I, I don't know I really like this author and it just sounded good and I'm I'm excited about it and a lot of people a lot of people have recommended this but I didn't get to Blood Witch um, I didn't get to it in March. I kind of knew I wouldn't because it was kind of at the end of my list. But Susan Blood Witch by Susan Dennard. absolutely love Truth Witch and Sight Witch. And so I'm excited to get to this one. I have, I have till early in April to finish reading this. So <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to read Blood Witch. Uh, it's one of the first books I want to get to in early April. So this one's about Adel and Easel. And you, you, hit a, you hit a lot of their story in Wind Witch. So um, in this land, it's like about these little 
it's like in a huge empire. I don't remember what empire she studied, but this girl really liked, but the author really liked, but it's about like the littler countries that don't get swallowed up by the empires and how do they stand and how do they keep going? But it's about all these different witches and all different kind of witches and blood witches can like smell people's blood. So you hear a lot about this story in the the previous one, not Wind Witch, I think the first one, but Inside Witch you hear about these two and you get kind of excited. But this one is about Aiden and Isolt. Um, and I really, really, in the first book you like hate him and you're like really scared of the Blood Witch. But once you get to know him a little bit in Sight Witch, you kind of like him. And I'm excited about this one. I really am. And uh, this is one of the first books I really want to get to in April. Um, the other one is King of Scars by Lee Bordugo. And I didn't get to this one yet, but I'm so excited about this because I did read the trilogy. Um, I think this was like on my new in books and I was hoping to get to it. And then it was on my March um, because I finally did read the trilogy at the beginning was this beginning of March I finished on like the first day of March I finished the end of the uh what is that trilogy called the shadow and bone oh the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardigo and this one is a spin-off because it is about the boy who becomes king in the Grisha realm he is not Grisha though and I'm excited about this one to learn more about him because I didn't like those Grisha trilogies that much, but I absolutely love Six of Crows. And I heard this one is more written along those storylines, like just like better writing from her. Absolutely lovely where to go. So excited for this. This is like the second on my list for April. I'm really excited about for that one. Um, and then the last one is this one, which I don't know a lot about, but I've just heard so much about it by Brandon Sanderson, Skyward. People are huge Brandon Sanderson fans. I've never read anything by him. I've read a, quite a bit of fantasy, but nothing by him. And this is a YA novel, which I think he mostly writes adult fantasy. Um, but I've heard nothing but good reviews on this. Not sure what it's about, but I'm excited about this one. <laughs> Uh, so tell me books that you guys will be reading down below in April and if there's any other books you're really excited about. I do have a new books releasing in April but I just know I won't get time to get to any of those but maybe in May uh, but there are a lot of new books releasing in May I'm excited about. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.